Americans have read it. What do you think about the metric system? Is it better or worse? The metric system is easier and since a lot of people suck at math it would be better for them. In 1976 I lived in Germany, dad was in US Army, and had to learn the metric system because the United States was going to convert to it so they said. As you can see we take a long time to accept anything new. I prefer it multiples of 10 seem more logical. I am a hobbyist woodworker, I use the metric system more often than imperial. I hate counting out how many sixteenth of an inch I'm looking at, splitting things up into tenths makes more more sense to me. Edit. I count the sixteenths because I don't use imperial enough to know all the fun tricks people have suggested. Metric is just so much easier, it's been at least a few years since I have relied on imperial. American machinist who works for a German manufacturer, here. The metric system is better. It is simpler to calculate numbers that are all based on tens. Units are easy to convert. The main problem is psychological. American society still creates reality with imperial system references. We still think in terms of inches and gallons and pounds. Even using metrics every day, my inner monologue changes a millimeter into 0 0.0394. I like metric more, the problem is I don't relate to it at all. I don't have a sense where I, know how a given measurement as metric, feels. Had we grown up with it, it wouldn't be a problem. I wish the schools would switch over. Me? I'm keeping my imperial, it is what I know and my entire life is kept to scale by it. Like, I know a 5 feet 8 inches dude at 200 pounds is probably overweight. If you told me a 80 centimeters guy weighed 137 kilograms, I would have no sense of scale. Is he tall and lean, short and fat? Is 30 celsius hot? I don't know what it feels like. 95 f and humid I've felt. 7 kilometers walk. Is that far? I need it in miles to get it. 4 miles I get. Is 80 kilometers per hour fast driving? 70 malif is a great highway speed. 200 celsius oven? Is that the temp for chicken nuggets? 400 f for my tendies. I give it a 10 out of 10. For science and medicine, it's great. It's indispensable. We use it all the time. For everyday life? Don't care. Whatever's convenient. 2 liter bottle of soda. 1 quart bottle of milk. 750 mallow bottle of booze. 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven. 72 degrees and sunny. It's all fine. I love the metric system. I'm not sure who created it but I'd like to meet her. I'm a design engineer, and I almost exclusively use the metric system at work. It's objectively better for anything involving calculations or unit conversions. That said, I think a big reason why the US hasn't formally switched is because the benefits of metric don't really have an impact on the day-to-day -day lives of most people. Miles, feet, pounds, and degrees Fahrenheit are intuitive in magnitude and have sufficient resolution for daily life. Rather than force everyone to formally switch and change everything, it's easier to just use metric where it's needed. The obvious exception is volume. English volume measurements suck and should be abolished immediately and forever. I really couldn't care less. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an engineer. I know about how long a foot is and about what a mile is. Converting to metric would in no way better my life in any meaningful way. I prefer it. I'm a nurse, and most of the calculations we make are based on the metric system. Most Americans probably don't have an opinion either way. We just go with what we were taught. American architect, fabricator and design teacher. I live by this quote. In metric, one milliliter of water occupies one cubic centimeter, weighs one gram, and requires one calorie of energy to heat up by one degree centigrade, which is one percent of the difference between its freezing point and its boiling point. An amount of hydrogen weighing the same amount has exactly one mole of atoms in it. Whereas in the American system, the answer to, how much energy does it take to boil a room temperature gallon of water, is, go fuck yourself, because you can't directly relate any of those quantities. Also, in the 1950s the US standardized out units based upon, get this, the, metric, SI standard. We are just used to our standard units but I use both professionally and teach both. We use both regularly. This circle jerk is so old and tired. It's better for distance and volume based measurements, length, speed, weight, etc., thanks to easy conversions. That said, I'll take Fahrenheit over Celsius any day. It's more precise and better covers the range of temperatures at which humans live. I joined the US military at 18, so I've spent most of my adult life accustomed to the metric system. TBH it's no better or worse than the imperial. 
just different. I think metric makes a lot more sense. I'm an American living in Canada. Initially it was an adjustment but now I prefer it. It's better in practice and theory and is of course the superior form of measurement, but when you were raised using pounds, feet, inches SND miles it's hard to change your ingrained perception. If your boner made a sound when it got erect, what sound would you want it to make? The THX sound effect as it slowly rises to full staff. The old Windows boot up sound would be simply amazing. Lightsaber sound of course. Super Mario Brothers. Power up sound. Old springy doorstop when kicked. The sound those little crinkled party horns make when you blow them up and then they kinda whistle groan. The ding sound from Hector Salamanca's wheelchair bell in Breaking Bad. Boing. Schwing in Dana Carvey as Garth Alger's voice. M1 Garand Ping. Autobot's transformation sound. Just a guy yelling, hey he has a boner. The Godzilla roar. I would want it to be the 1993 platinum hit. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that, by Meatloaf, written by Jim Steinman. Wiener goes up. Suddenly the soul-shaking sound of the Harley Road King fills the air. Then, all 12 minutes and one second of the studio album version of that brilliant fucking track. Jim Steinman Rip 1947-2021. Aztec Death Whistle. Obi-Wan saying, hello there. I can't believe no one has said the law and order sound. Boner ready in dramatic trailer announcer guy voice. Sword unsheathes. The sound of a sheet of paper falling one millimeter onto shag carpet.